Hey everybody, it's Claire. Welcome back to another Web Dev Wednesday. Happy 4th of July for those of you that are in the US. It falls on a Wednesday this year, so we are having a Web Dev Wednesday Independence Day special. Not doing anything patriotic for it, just thought I'd toss that out there. So today I'm actually gonna do a bit of an applied um, JavaScript project to build a little tarot reading app. So a really common um, project when you're first learning JavaScript is like a deck of cards where you have a big long array of objects, that's the deck of cards, and then you can randomize them and draw. So I thought I would do that, but a little fun twist where we're just doing a really small tarot deck. Um, over here in my project in Atom, you can see um, this is the whole project. So our index HTML is over here. Um, it's just a container with a display where the card will be displayed and a button to draw. As you can see over here on the right, um, there's a style sheet that styles it. Um, but since we're pretty comfortable with CSS at this point, um, we're not going to go over that anymore. And then we have an images folder with, we're just doing eight cards. I'm not going to do a full tarot deck because um, as you will see, it gets to be a pretty long array when we are pulling from our images folder. So just eight cards we're going to go to, and then I have this empty JavaScript file over here. So I'm going to start out by showing you a new concept, a new type of function called an object constructor. So when we talked about JavaScript objects, and um, we talked about how they have different properties and methods for an object. Um, but if we want to do a bunch of the same kind of object, sort of like a blueprint that then we are creating new objects of that blueprint, we want to use a object constructor. So it's a function, I'm going to call it card, and then you're going to be passing something into your object constructor, which will then become the properties of that object. So in this case, um, each card is going to have a name, a description, and an image. And then once you have what you're passing in, you just target this, meaning this instance of this object. Um, and then whatever property you want, you set to what you pass in. And I'm going to do this for each property we are passing in. So this will make sense when we create this. So this is our blueprint. So our card function just means whenever we create a card, we're going to pass in a name, a description, and an image that will become the properties of that card. And in the card app, um, we're going to create a variable just called deck, and it's going to be an array of objects. So each item in this array is an object, and we call this card constructor just by doing new card. And then we'll have a list of them. So we're going to do eight of these. Um, we can build the first one together and then I'm just going to speed through because it's going to be really tedious. So our new card, the first thing we pass in is the name. Comma, the description's going to go in here. It's long, so I'm not going to type it out right here. And then um, what we're putting into the image property is going to be the path inside of the image folder, just the name of, of the image. So the temperance one is just called temperance.jpg. Yeah, so I'm just going to type temperance. And once we get into our function of the app, this will come in handy because we will dig into our images folder and pull out the correct card that way. So I'm going to go ahead and just build this deck out by doing eight new cards and then inserting passing along what the properties each object will have. So I will be right back. Okay, so now we have all eight cards, Temperance, the Lovers, you know, it's all of them that are in here. So this is our deck array, which has a bunch of objects that we built using this object constructor. Okay, so now back to the app we are building. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is get a random number because when I hit this draw button over here, what I want to happen is a random number to be drawn and then that card in that position in our array is pulled and displayed. So first we need to do a function that I'm just going to call get random and we're going to pass a number into it and as you'll see when I get to building this, the number we pass into this function is going to be the number of items in our array. So the number the maximum random number we want to pull. So um, we're going to have a variable called random number. 
and we're going to use the JavaScript math object to generate a number. So over here on W3Schools, they have a whole extensive documentation on the math object. It's basically just a whole bunch of math tasks that you can do in JavaScript that are just built in. So, you know, you can pi, you can round numbers. Um, the two um, math methods we're going to use are first random, which is in here somewhere, but oh, here it is. So it gets a random number between zero and one. So it's a decimal. And where this number that we're passing in comes into play is we're going to multiply our random number times this. So it will then generate a whole, you know, it'll be a decimal between zero and the number we wanted. And then the other um, method of the math object we're going to use is the floor one. So it just rounds down whatever is in parentheses. So I'll show you what I mean here. So math.random, and it's a method, so we have to put our parentheses, and then just multiply that by the number we pass in. So this will generate a number, a decimal between zero and whatever we pass in, but we want it to be a whole number, so I'm going to do another math.floor, and then in parentheses we have this math method and this should give us a whole number between zero and whatever we pass in and this function we want to return that number that we just got okay so now we're going to get into the actual functionality of this app when we hit draw so we got to first go get that button right um, we're going to get element by id and this has an idea of draw um, in the HTML you will see the button has an ID of draw this div has an ID of display and container is just used for the purple but display and draw we will be using in this function okay so we're getting draw and we're gonna set the on click for that button to a function The first thing we want to do is get an index. So this I want to refer to the position in our array. So here we're going to use our get random function. And we want it to be a maximum of eight because we have eight items in our array. Remember it is zero index, but because we used floor to round down, eight is the number you want to use here. You want to use the number of positions that you want to get. So our index will then get a random number between one and eight, so we can call it. Um, and then we're going to create a variable just called current card and we're going to go into our deck and get the object at the position of index. So these two work together here to get our current card. And now I'm going to just update this page here to then pull the information from this object and use it to display on the screen. So I'm going to again get element by ID for display. And then I want to set the inner HTML of this div equal to, and then this gets a little bit complicated because the HTML elements we want to put in quotes, um, but so we're going to do an image, right? The source, we need a quote here. So, and this image source, we're going to go into this image folder here images slash and then we want to end this HTML pull out of it and then attach something from our JavaScript so we're actually going to go into our object and get the image property right so it's the current card the ob the item in the array that we just pulled current card its property called image So current card dot image is then going to be appended there. We're going to hop out of our JavaScript and back into our HTML here. Add dot JPEG. Close our double quotation. Remember, this is just the source of that image um, element in our HTML. We're basically closing our source here. And now I want to also have um, an h3 just for the name so I'm going to open the h3 hop out of the HTML and then append a current card dot name so the property of the object called name will then be in an h3 so I'm going to close the h3 
and then I'm going to add just a paragraph. Again, I'm gonna just hop out of our HTML to add the property description, which is part of our JavaScript object, and then go back into our HTML to close the paragraph tag. And that should be the end of the inner HTML. Okay, so we're basically just updating the the div to have an image with then a title and a paragraph underneath it. And where does that come from? It comes from the randomly generated index of our deck. So our deck is an array of objects that we're then generating a random one and putting its information into our screen. So let's let's test this. We're going to save, refresh our web page. And now what happens when we hit draw? It draws a random card. And we can redraw and it will continue doing it. So that's it, you guys. Um, went ahead and built a fun deck card drawing app using objects and arrays in JavaScript. I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know what you thought. Remember, I post new videos every single Wednesday, so I will see you all next week. Bye, you guys. <laughs>